Okay guys, let me show you this in a quick tutorial. So let's start and add some markers. We can start with the top of our timeline where we add a marker with M on the keyboard. When you press it, you see this green little marker here. If you make a double click on the marker, you can give it a name, for example, delete this clip. You can also change the color of it. You can add comments, chapters, segmentations, and web links, but leave it like it is and click OK. You see our marker is red now, but let's make the text visible. If you hover over it, you can see our name, and if you hold the Option key on Mac or Alt on Windows, you can extend the marker as much as you want. For example, let's mark this scene with it. There is also a possibility to mark direct in your clips, for that you highlight the clip and hit M on your keyboard. If you double-click your clip, you can see it on the top left, where you can make a double-click on the marker to open the settings again. We can mark this clip again with a name like drinking water and can then change the color again. Then, same method. Hold the option on Mac or Alt on Windows to extend the marker till this scene is over. You see the clip is now marked with our text too. Next, I show you the same with the audio clip. Find a sweet spot like this. Double click on the audio clip and press M on your keyboard. Double click the marker and give it a name for example, Beat Starts. You can then give it also a color and click on OK. Now click on Option or Alt to extend this marker till the beat ends for example. One last tip, if you want to jump between markers, hold the Shift key and click M to go to the next marker on your timeline. To get rid of the markers onto you, can make a right click and click on Clear All Markers. To do it with the other markers, highlight all your clips and do also a right click and click on Clear All Markers. Try to use markers by yourself and let me know if you have any questions.